Okay, this is a short uh, video about menu options. Um, it's really important to, to know how to do menus well. Um, here's an example of a menu. Um, maybe fly to moon, climb mountain, visit the old man in the cave, use backpack, exit. What is your choice? So this is a, like a game type thing, but you can have a, a corporate version also. You know, go to HR, you know, do something, in a, a, all these HR things that HR could do, or, or personnel, or whatever it happens to be. So you have a, a options of what to do here. So let's look at what the code might look at. So here you have like a do while loop. You also have switch statements. And you have get the menu on. So first off, within a do while, so you do this entire menu while the menu option is not equal to exit. Okay, so do while. Inside there, you display the menu. Easy enough. Then you get in get a integer, get a, a menu option. One, two, three, four, or five, whatever it happens to be. You have a switch where the menu option is, case do something. You're gonna name this rather than saying case one, two, three, four, you're gonna say one is whatever do do something is, you know, then case do something else. You're going to use name constants. Name constants are important in order to read the code and make sure you know what it is. If it just says one, you have to think yourself, what does one do again? No, you don't want to have to do that. Always just use name constants when you can. Then eg case exit, exit gets out, whatever this happens to be. That way when you change exit as a constant, you don't have to change your code. You just change that number up at the top and that's it. If it's not any of these, it's not do something, you know, one, two, and three, let's say, then it's the default. It says, hey, invalid entry, try again, and breaks out. So you have input validation here already built into the menuing structure. So pause this, take a look at it, understand how this works. Really important that you understand how to do this. Okay, see ya.